CP Plus Day 1. It was time to whip downtown and get some breakfast. It was then up top to get a briefing, pay our fees and sign our lives away. By this stage we all knew the drill. Down to the van to load up. Water top up soon followed. <laughs> you know how it goes, Ralph. We need footage of everything. Before whipping down to the landing field for a quick briefing. Just be like a little orientation flight. We're gonna take off from there. We'll come out and find some light bits of bubbles and stuff out in front of the hill. We'll use them. But basically, it's just a nice orientation flight. Good take off. Nice landing in the field. Massive field, as you can see, so you guys shouldn't have too much problems. Briefing done, off to launch. With our little mascot Brambles joining us for the ride. Guys, as you can see, there's quite a few people up on launch. Um, what we want to do now is just go sort your kit out so it's all ready, all been daily inspected, mushroomed up, and then we put it down at the side and then we'll wait for our window of get, uh, to get off the table. Pre-flight's done, it was go time at last. After a few of the other guys launched, it was my go. After an average reverse launch, I was pretty much straight into some lift. It was time to enact my cunning flight plan. Fly straight to the landing field, and if I hit lift, stay in it. But if not, just land. I decided to push away straight away to get away from the other pilots and just practice a landing. But lo and behold, Holy shit, I was going up, so it was time to crank in some turns and get some altitude. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. As I got higher, more flyers joined. And they weren't just people. Oh, eagle! After a while, the thermal started to drop off a bit, so I decided to push out to the landing field again. I finally had some time to realise what it was I was actually doing. Fuck me! I got to fix that annoying ribbon too. Hmm. And just when I thought it was landing time... Time to crank it in and go up again. While I was going up, I made sure I kept an ear out on the radio to get the latest gist from Ross. 
Sounded like he'd be heading down to the landing field soon. It was getting a bit bumpy, which I guess meant the thermal had gone through. Still I was getting enough to stay in the air, so I just potted around above the landing field for a bit longer. Time to go make my approach. Or maybe not. More lift was kicking off the landing field. It was all a bit bitsy, but it was still enough to warrant messing around a bit longer. After about another seven or so minutes, I decided to call it a day. It's landing field, all right. Come in. It's like a fucking thing. first flight had been a thermaling success. It was then back to the van and on to the afternoon side. First up was the bomb outfield. I've only really just stopped here. This isn't the main landing field I'm going to show you, but this is a good bomb outfield. If you get too low on the takeoff, Maybe you get a bit of sink or something. That field up there that we call Palm Tree Farm is a great field to land in. Main landing field next. So this is the main landing field for that site. That other one that I showed you there is if you are unsure at all if you're going to make it here, choose that other field, okay? It is the only place with a junction in the road there as you're coming across. And generally there'll be lots of cars parked here. And by the time we're up and flying there, there'll be loads of gliders all coming in to land here. We still had time to kill, so had a coffee before heading up to the launch. Oh, 
So, um, main landing field. Uh, you see where that glider is just heading away from us there, the blue one? If you look down to the right, can you see there's like a house on the hill there? Yep. That's the peak there, wasn't it? Uh, no, that's the peak across the road. Oh. In fact, it's more struggling. It's here, right? Yeah? After a pretty decent forward launch, it was time to enact my successful flight plan. Straight to the landing field. Had a quick look at the bomb outfield and then seemed to get a bit of lift. But it wasn't to be, so I just went straight on down. It was a pokey little field with lots of hazards and people coming in. So I'd have to be pretty precise. Okay. Okay, let's get back. The second flight was also a success, so I packed up, watched Ralph land, yeah. did a panning shot of the landing field, and then went for a little walk to see what was going on. You okay, you need a hand? Cool, mate. Bit of cross country. No, no, you know what he needs? A beer. He needs a fucking oh, beer. Good, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. Cheers, do it. Nice Safe one, guys. Day. Yeah. day one was in the bag.